Today's review is sponsored by Accurate Fortune Cookies, the cookies that tell you what's really going on. This one says, get off your ass, you haven't gone outside in three days. Watch it, Alan, I'm shooting. Phenomena. Have you ever watched a movie that has some good ideas and it's good, but it would have been a lot better if it focused on just one of those ideas? That's what we got here today. Phenomena is one of director Dario Argento's more unique movies. To an extent, Argento never steered too far away from the giallo genre, which I have no problem with. Argento was a master at making gialli. Suspiria is a supernatural movie, but it still has the elements of a giallo movie, and Phenomena... Okay, I promise, that's the last one. Anyway, Phenomena is a giallo movie, but with a supernatural edge. We follow a young woman named Jennifer, played by Jennifer Connelly, in one of her first starring roles. She's been transferred to an all-girls boarding school in Switzerland, while her movie star father is busy working on a movie. You mean, you know him? Yeah, of course I do. Have you been to bed with him? Paul Corrido is my father. Oh, sorry. Jennifer has a unique ability to communicate with insects. Pretty much everyone at the school thinks she's a weirdo, but she befriends an elderly entomologist named John, played by Donald Pleasance, and he has a chimp. Everything's better with a chimp, until they rip your face off. Have you any idea why they behave like that? No, they've done this before. I guess they sense the mood I'm in. At the same time, a killer has been terrorizing the countryside. Some of the local women have gone missing, with only one head being located. The number of the groups is, uh, four months. In the case of this head, the cycle not only seems to be complete, but to have been repeated. As the body count rises, Jennifer might be able to use her gift to locate the murderer. I do like this flick. It's a solid giallo movie by Dario Argento. Jennifer Connelly does a great job at playing, well, Jennifer. See that glove? An insect. A firefly led me to it. She has this sassy, free-spirited side to her. The boarding school she goes to is run by this stereotypical, stiff-upper-lipped, well-we-are-not-amused style headmistress. Jennifer has no problem talking back to her when she treats her like she's a crazy person. Or do you take something like, do you understand, drugs? I am not crazy, schizophrenic, epileptic, or stoned. The story in the boarding school is one we've seen in many movies. The new girl comes to the school and the other students don't like her because she's not like them. Plus, Jennifer has some other issues other than talking to bugs. She also sleepwalks. This results in Jennifer being shunned by the other students and the headmistress. But why me? Fräulein Colvino cannot be left alone. I want someone in here with her. And I want to know everything she says and does. I'm scared of her. She arrived and Sophie disappeared. There's a great Carrie-esque scene where the students are picking on Jennifer, so she causes a swarm of flies to surround the building. Donald Pleasance is great as always because he's Donald Pleasance. He's always fun to watch whether he's giving a good performance or he's half-assing it. Luckily, he is not half-assing it in Phenomena. The friendship between Jennifer and John is what makes this movie work. It gives us people to care about. 
What do you teach? Entomology. I study insects. Really? Do insects interest you? Yeah, a lot. I love them. You mean that? Absolutely. John has many monologues about how bugs are nature's greatest detectives due to them eating a body after a person has died, and how the accumulation of bugs around a corpse can help solve a crime. And there's some truth to that. Forensic scientists have used bugs to determine when a person has died. It is capable of picking up the scent of a dead body over vast distances. It's sensory perception is extraordinary, quite unique. Some of the dialogue can come across as silly, but Donald Pleasance makes it work because he's so damn good at monologues. And again, he has a chimp. The chimp tends to steal the show whenever she's on screen. And who, may I ask, put it out there? I don't want you ever, I don't want you ever, ever playing with this again. <laughs> Looking at Phenomena as a giallo movie, it's solid. Dario Argento always puts great atmosphere in his gialli, and the kills are good, bloody kills. There's good setup and payoff in some of the kills. The opening kill is the perfect setup for what these murders are going to be like. We see some chains pulling against a wall and those get used. <laughs> We see some scissors fall to the ground, and that gets used. I like some good setup and payoff in my horror movies. But my favorite part of the movie is how they handle the bugs. When we're introduced to Jennifer, one of the first things she does is make friends with a bee. And then our academic program is based on the American one. Oh, a bee! Be careful, it might sting you! No! It's oh. alone! We get a close-up shot of her stroking the bee. And it's not fake. She's really stroking a bee. Later in the flick, Jennifer is trying to use a fly to help her find the killer. The idea is that the fly will go to one of the corpses, start eating the flesh, and lay some eggs in it. And keep in mind, Jennifer can communicate with bugs, so she's working with the fly. The idea here is she's going to communicate with the fly, and the fly is going to lead her to the bodies, thus being able to lead her to the killer. My favorite shot in the movie is when the camera gets a close-up and is following the fly throughout this house. I can't imagine how many takes that took. This is a fly we're talking about here. Filmmakers have talked about how it's difficult working with animals because even if they're trained, they don't always cooperate. This movie works with bugs. Bugs are the least cooperative animal. Now, Phenomena is not a bad movie, but it does have a big problem that prevents it from becoming one of my favorite Argento flicks. You have those movies that have an idea, but then do nothing with them. Phenomena has the opposite problem. Dario Argento uses these ideas, but because there are a tad too many of them, some of these ideas get overshadowed by others. You know you could cut yourself. Look, look here. You could cut yourself with this. See? It's not a toy. At its core, this movie is a giallo movie. An unseen killer murdering people in violent ways. Then we have Jennifer. Before we learn about her bug psychic connection, we learn that she sleepwalks. And while she's sleepwalking, she sees the murderer killing someone in her dream. <coughs> the movie does not make it clear if she saw the murder psychically through a bug. 
But that's an interesting idea. A girl who sleepwalks, and while she's sleepwalking, she witnesses murders in her dreams. Sadly, they only do this once, and it doesn't happen again. Then there's the main draw of the movie. Jennifer is able to communicate psychically with bugs, and she's going to use that gift to help her find the killer. But they don't do much with that. We do get some decent bug action, but because this movie is focusing more on being a giallo movie, the bug psychic stuff tends to take a back seat quite a bit. There were times where I completely forgot about it, and then when it came up again I said, Oh yeah, that's in this movie. <laughs> Luckily, the giallo side of the movie is well done, but it's still a tad disappointing. This interesting psychic bug storyline isn't focused on enough. Imagine if in A Nightmare on Elm Street we're introduced to Freddy Krueger killing people in their dreams, but that only happens a few times. For the rest of the movie, we're following a basic slasher movie. It doesn't matter how good the basic slasher is, we're still going to be disappointed because we're not focusing on the more interesting idea. What's your favorite scary movie? Phenomena does have its problems, but it's still a good giallo movie. The two main characters are likable, there's some great atmosphere, and there's some good kills. Even though the interesting stuff isn't focused on enough, it's still in the movie, and it helps make Phenomena a standout giallo movie. And with that, let's get to the Grindhouse rankings. We've got a body count of eight. The kills consist of a few stabbings, but we also get some decapitations and a death by flies. It reaches the giallo requirements with an unknown killer, painful deaths, and beautiful, unfamiliar locations. Jennifer is a good main character. Her free spirit sassiness makes us root for her. Donald Pleasance is good too, because he's Donald Pleasance. And he has a chimp. I wish the movie focused more on Jennifer's psychic connection to bugs. It's the most interesting part of the movie, but it takes a backseat to the giallo side of things. But the giallo side is still well done. There's enough to keep giallo fans happy. And the ending is awesome. I won't spoil it here, but it's the best way the movie could end. I'm giving this a 3.7 out of 5. It's a good giallo flick, but it would have been better if it just focused on one idea. As always, I want to thank all of you for continuing to watch and support this channel. Please leave a comment down below. Let me know your favorite bug movie. This is The Maniac, here to remind you that the Grindhouse will never die. Phenomena. <laughs>